let us discuss about the structure of heart today. Heart is a central pumping organ. It's an organ which is present at the mediastinum. The area present between two lungs is called as mediastinum. So human heart is present in mediastinum. Now, it is a muscular organ. It is a central pumping organ. It pumps blood to, blood to all parts of the body. Along with the blood, it is pumping oxygen, it is pumping nutrients. It is also helping in gathering waste material and bringing it to kidneys. I mean, kidneys will collect the waste and push it out. And for that also, a pumping activity of the heart is crucial. Now, heart is present. Heart is at the size of a clenched fist. It's the size of a clenched fist. And if you see the weight, weight in case of males, it is 300 grams. In case of females, it is 250 grams. So, in case of males, it is slightly larger. Now, if I take the midline, if I take the central midline of the body, and if I see the heart, the location of heart, one third is present on the right side, and two third is present on the left side, two third to the left. Right? And it is safely protected by sternum. That, that bone, that bone is called sternum. It is also called breast bone. Now it is hollow inside. It is muscular and hollow. It has got a broad base. This is a broad base and pointed apex. This region is called apex. Apex is directed towards the left. Apex is directed towards the left. Now, if you see the size, 12 by 9 centimeters, the length is 12 centimeters, the width is 9 centimeters. Yeah. And if you see the external structure, externally, the heart is covered by pericardium. So, it, it is covered by membrane, membrane is called pericardium. Now, pericardium itself is made up of double layers. One is fibrous pericardium, other is serous pericardium. The fibrous and serous pericardium. Now, fibrous pericardium. Fibrous pericardium is made up of fibers. The fibrous pericardium is made up of fibers. The serous pericardium, again, is made up of two layers the parietal layer and the visceral layer. The parietal layer, serous pericardium, the inner layer is called serous pericardium. It is again made up of parietal and visceral layers. The parietal layer goes and fuses with the fibrous layer and the visceral layer the visceral layer becomes the outermost layer of the heart. It becomes the outermost layer of the heart. Yeah? Now, th think that this is the layer of the heart and it, it is having three layers like that. So, the outermost layer is nothing but visceral, visceral layer only. Now, if I see the wall of the heart, the wall of the heart is made up of three layers. The visceral layer itself becomes the outermost layer that is called epicardia. The middle layer is called as myocardia. The innermost layer is called as endocardia. Now, I told you the visceral layer itself becomes epicardia. Now, this, these two layers or mesothelial epithelial layers. And if you see the myocardium, myocardium is made up of cardiac muscles. The endocardium is made up of endothelium. 
it is called endothelium epithelium which is present inside is endothelium myocardium is made up of cardiac muscles the epicardium and the parietal layer both are serous mesothelial layers and the outer fibrous layer is made up of fibrous connective tissue is made up of fibrous connective tissue and there is a gap in between the parietal and visceral layers there is a gap the gap is filled with perica pericardial fluid it's filled with a fluid the fluid is called as pericardial fluid a very small quantity of pericardial fluid is present and it makes up just a 50 ml of pericardial fluid it provides lubrication so in between the two layers it provides lubrication and external shock is absorbed through the absorbed by the pericardial fluid there so that is the covering of the heart right now let us go into the external structure of the heart <clears throat> 